So I'm looking into wild game lately because I think it's important. This is an important piece in why the dietary recommendations for meat are so low compared to like hunter gatherers who basically eat this stuff in way larger quantities and um, don't show the same cardiovascular issues as people in Western societies and even some carnivores, I'm thinking the carnivore kid um, who ate a ton of basic, uh, you know, beef from your average grocery store, it looked like it was well marbled and he ended up having heart disease from it. And so just looking up wild game, the kind of protein, fat, cholesterol, we're not even looking at the PUFA content because the PUFA content in wild meat tends to be higher as well. Yes, they're eating higher PUFAs than we would be with beef. Um, but here you can see, okay, bear is an exception. We don't know the cholesterol, but the fat is 8.3. That's quite high for a wild game. But if you look at lean ground beef, the fat content is 20.7% and the cholesterol 75. The cholesterol seems to be pretty the same amongst wild versus domesticated. It's the fat content that's way higher. Um, again, um, just regular beef here, it's only 6.5. But if you compare that to even a buffalo here, a buffalo is 1.9% fat. And this is all the same 100 grams, right? So you can eat basically three times as much buffalo before you get the same fat content as beef. Uh, caribou is 3.4, but look at chicken. Chicken now seems to be, in terms of fat content, cholesterol content, more like wild game, at least the breast, you know, than, um, than beef. And, and the thing is, these carnivores like to specifically eat beef because, you know, it's grass fed. It seems more natural. But in fact, chicken has more PUFA, just like wild game, and chicken has less fat. Now we go to deer, 1.3. So think about it. You could eat almost six times as much deer than you can beef. Now this is generic beef. But um, my understanding is that grass-fed beef is not that much lower in fat. Uh, anyway, these are the numbers. Look at elk. It's not even one. Um, so, and then there's Canada goose. That's a little higher. Grouse, low. So my point is, the reason the numbers are so low for generic meat is because you have to eat like three to six times less of it to get the same amount of fat, if we're looking at fat. And just another um, outdoor life numbers here, they're about the same, about the same elk is at 0.9 again. So they must have kind of taken the same numbers. So this is kind of consistent across the numbers. Wild game tends to be much lower in fat. So it makes sense that your dietary guidelines would have to be lower in fat. Okay, this is an article from Animal Science. And it says here that ground beef from grass-fed cattle naturally contains more omega-3 fatty acids than the grain-fed, but it's higher in saturated fat and trans fat. And, and it looks like here um, it says ground beef from grass-fed and grain-fed cattle that contain approximately 10 to 15% total fat. Here's a good table. So total saturated and trans fat from um, grass-fed beef is 9.8 grams and the total fat from ground beef is 8.2 grams. The omega-3 from grass-fed is 0 0.055 and from ground beef is 0 0.02, so slightly higher and oleic acid is actually higher in uh, ground beef, not grass-fed. And I don't see any numbers as to how much beef this is. Is this for 100 grams? Generally it's for 100 grams, but if that is the amount of 
um, fat per 100 grams, that's still higher than a lot of these wild game, if you get where I'm coming from here. So if we're looking at the fat content, the saturated fat, which is what most dietitians and uh, scientists say is the part that is causing heart disease. And let's go with that theory for now, okay? Just humor, humor me and them <laughs> and everyone. If you are getting up to like six times more saturated fat from beef, you're going to have to eat six times less than these hunter-gatherers ate. It just makes sense, which is unfortunate because then you're going to be getting less protein and other nutrients from it. Um, but then I guess you're going to have to find your protein somewhere else or you can consume chicken and fish, which is what they say, which is unbelievable because I never thought this would be true, but chicken and fish, I would say um, almost more so chicken, but I would say fish as well because they it's high in PUFA and if you get wild caught, um, you can get less saturated fat from it and, um, and have the same kind of balance as these hunter-gatherers. The problem is we're focusing on beef all the time and, tr and trying to get the same results as hunter-gatherers when you have to eat so much less beef to get the same results. So I'm just looking at fish here. Um, lean fish have significantly less fat than other protein-rich foods. So this, this to me explains why the pescatarians always kill on these like um, longevity studies because they're, e they're focusing their diet on these fish instead of beef, which is what like a lot of these carnivore people are doing. And even chicken, chicken seems like a better option than beef. Beef seems almost like the least good option. And I know it's hard to get chicken that's like purely pasture raised, but even the grain fed chicken, if you eat the breast, it seems like a better option than the beef. <laughs> and then you won't be, you know, for some people getting iron overload, um, you'll be matching more this hunter gatherer meat than you would eating beef. Anyway, that's my video for today. <laughs>